Hey guys, it's Josh Chains coming at you with another Sabre reveal. This is actually a dual reveal uh, because it's for the same gentleman. It's for a guy named Joshua Wing out of Australia. So, uh, but I'm going to get right to it. So the first Sabre I have is a Corvanth OWK, which I did an install recently on one. Um, there's a couple of minor differences though. And I'll go ahead and show you. I'll take the blade out for you. So the first difference is the chassis. Um, I didn't use a Darth Rio chassis this time. I ended up using a chassis made by uh, Almost to Mordor, which is another Shapeways uh, seller. And so basically, Joshua has easy access to the recharge port and the speakers on the bottom. This is a 20 millimeter flat speaker from KR Savers. And uh, Joshua, if you're watching, um, as far as access to the SD card, I, I would probably recommend a pair of tweezers. You can still push it to uh, get it to uh, push out. But uh, I would probably recommend tweezers uh, to get it out if you want to change sound fonts. But otherwise, access to the recharge port is very simple. And it's an all-in-one chassis as well. So on this one, we've got an 18650 battery, Nano Viscotti V3 soundboard, a royal blue, blue, white tricre. And the white, of course, is the flash on clash. Um, again, on this activation button, I ended up using a Graflex uh, activation button just because the one that it, that it comes with is just not very good. So... Um, cover tech knob and uh, so not the loudest saber but I would have um, I tried to use a uh, 20 millimeter bass speaker but it wouldn't fit in that chassis so so y'all are very familiar with this very cool cool hilt so and uh and these are both uh, prequel Obi Wan Kenobi fonts. I'll put the I'll put the information in the description below. Turn the light off again, so y'all get an idea. And then you got your glow Greeblies right here. So I mean, it's just basically the same install I did on Jimmy's. The only difference is a different chassis and a different speaker. So. Um, um, but with that comes this. This is the second uh, saber he wanted me to do. And here it is. This is a Sinar saber, which Sinar sabers are based out of Indonesia. I believe, yeah, Indonesia. So with this one, this was the uh, definitely a challenge due to the lack of room I had. Um, this uh, is using an 18500 battery. Uh, and um, Basically, yeah, we've got a non-illuminated uh, AV switch, recharge port, and then with this chassis, I had to do something a little different. Um, so it's a three-part chassis, one inch uh, from Darth Rio, uh, consistent of the... This is actually, the battery holder is an 18650, but I trimmed it down uh, for the 18500. Then you've got your sound card right there, Nano Biscotti V3. And then there's a 20 millimeter flat speaker from KR Sabers. So the way I did this to where he could access the SD card um, was I've got a little rod going between all the chassis parts. It's a 632. So the way he can access his SD card is he just pushes this over a little bit. And right there, he can take his SD card if he wants to change sound fonts. And he just puts it back like that. Nothing to it. So I had to do a little bit of sanding on this so I could have enough room to work with. And so that's one of the reasons I ended up using a flat speaker. Because um, I don't know how Shamim was able to use a 28 millimeter uh, flat speaker on this. Because I couldn't get it to work. So I ended up using the 20 millimeter instead. So, And I had to sand around a little bit because um, when I was putting this pommel on before it would... Uh, it would cause friction and the chassis would start turning so you just position it properly put the chassis or put the pommel over and then you just start turning like that and right now there is no friction so the chassis is staying where it is and there you go that's all there is to it cover tech knob um the powder coating job uh this is i believe a candy red candy apple red this was done uh, by a company here in Memphis called Rick's Powder Coating. And um, originally what Josh had wanted was he wanted just the pummel 
uh, part and this part and then uh, some trim right here but um, when I took it to Rick's Power Coating they they said it would be tough to do this part uh, just this trim because it would leave a lip uh, that's what they explained I'm not really I'm not a power coating expert so I don't know um, so anyways um, I had suggested that maybe if we did this part the pommel and this outer shroud handle shroud that that would look cool and so Josh was a, was receptive to that so I had them do that at Rick's powder coating and I think it looks awesome I've actually got a saber in the works um, this same one that I'll do a reveal later on um, but it's still in the works and looking forward to trying that so but uh, yeah sign our saber and the uh, LED is a deep red deep red white go ahead and get a blade in there so but yeah this was as far as room goes this was a this was a big challenge for sure so get that uh good there all right so got a couple of sound fonts on here um i'm not sure which one will come up first but um one is nexus uh by which i believe is by darce zuzia i think and then the other is called aculophobia so we'll see what comes up okay so this is aculophobia All right, white flash on flash, deep red, deep red, dry cree. I'll pull the speaker up. Got a little forked emitter thing going here. Let's see if y'all can see that. Really cool. Turn that back off. Really like the deep red. I use this on my uh, Vader conversion. I really like the deep red. It's awesome. So, and I'm switching fonts, going to the Nexus font. Oh, you will experience the full power of the dark side. This font's awesome. I use this on Danny Childress's Just a Car, and it just, it rocks. So, so there you go, Josh. It's a cool saber, my friend. So, <laughs> all right. And uh, you're probably wondering where are the where are the blade plugs? Now Josh didn't he didn't he said he didn't want any blade plugs because he usually just leaves blade leaves the blades in them. So, all right, so here they are, uh, OWK by Corbett, sign our saber. So really happy with that paint job. Like I said, I've got one in the works for my personal uh, collection, and uh, it's gonna be nifty. Can't wait to get that finished. So. The one thing, the one thing I will say about the Sinar Sabers that um, that uh, I'm not crazy about is the fact that there is so much threading, like on this pommel, um, and threads are kind of close together, um, and sometimes they can they they tend to they can get stuck a little bit sometimes, so you got to be careful. But um, that would be the only thing on that on those. But other than that, I think they're very exotic looking sabers. So very cool. So, all right. So once again, there you go. Double commission. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, thank you to Joshua Wang for his patience uh, on these sabers. I I know uh, I would send him video updates and stuff like that. So I was really doing my best to keep him in the loop on these. So, uh, but uh, got uh, a couple more reveals coming up, so stay tuned, and uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed, there's a guitar pick to your right that you can click on to subscribe to my channel for future Saber reveals. Um, but anyways, thank you once again. Y'all keep it sexy. May the Force be with you.